So this Heavenly Fire deck that uh, Jeff is playing, uh, it, it's a Volcanic deck that plays Star Seraphs and Jurigetto. Uh, he didn't really know what to call it, so he called it Heavenly Fire, and he's been playing it for quite some time. So is that That Jurigetto? is Jurigetto, yeah. What does that do? Uh, it says during uh, either player's battle step, you can special summon it to gain 1,000, and then uh, one, uh, you contribute it to boost one of your monster's attack by 1,000. Okay. Uh, it's mainly used to play around Valkyris, uh, uh -huh. and it also offsets any life that Jeff happens to pay for a Volcanic Shell. Or, um, mm. uh, there's something else he pays for, I can't quite remember. But it, it basically just gives him a really good matchup in time, which is something that he's been struggling with as of late. Right, right. And then Jeff's X1, right? Uh, I know Pat's yeah, X1. Yeah, they're both X1. Okay. So this is the first time these two have actually played each other in uh, some sort of competitive yeah. nature? Ever. So. They, they got paired at uh, ARG Chicago, but they drew the last round because they were both doing well. So Those they damn IDs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stupid alter reality. <laughs> boycott ARG. <laughs> boycott, boycott ARG. Well, yeah, there you go. There you go. Gold Sark's a card that Hoban uh, recently put in his deck this weekend. Uh, he uses it to trigger Exa and uh, Great Sorcerer. Uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty spicy tech. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a couple games he was using it just on like a Manju or you know just a general good yeah. card as well. You know, especially against those decks that you know you're gonna get a few turns out of, like Burning Abyss. You're definitely gonna see two more turns. Also lets you use uh, Exa multiple times if you want, because right. normally you just get the one and done, unless you use Dance Princess, but it takes a while to get all that going. So Pat looks like he has his game face on. Yeah, he does. He's he's very focused. Neither of them want to lose this. <laughs> so I don't play. I'll just commentate. I'll give you some color commentary. <laughs> some color commentary? Yeah, see so who's more mindset to play. We can't see, can't see Jeff with the comments there, though. We can see his hands and... Uh, I see Leverett and... Uh, Chris, we got. Patrick playing around Minecraft while there. He's not really uh, aware of anything in Jeff's deck, so this is a right. whole new experience for him. This is really strong for Pat here because uh, he can just uh, take care of both those back rows essentially. Because if, if Jeff happens to react with one of them, he can just take the two for two and clear both. And right. Pat also have plenty of cards in hand. Yeah, and he'll be able to search mirrors if he yep. wants. May face two. I think it's he like, might just pop a blind one if Jeff doesn't activate either of them, just so his drive average. If he does alive. pop a blind yeah. one and he hits a uh, Blaze Accelerator, that's no, really good for Jeff though. Yeah. So it's interesting. Knowing that Jeff's been playing this for a while, I, whenever I test it against him, I always make sure I had Gungnir in my hand because he can just oh, nuke your yeah. field whenever. Yeah. So summoning it, it's a little risky here. Assuming Pat knows everything about his deck. Rota Clay. So did he not attack with the Gungnir, I guess? Uh, no, he did? didn't. He didn't, okay. Uh, Jeff is playing Deep Prison in his deck. He's playing two copies, so Pat may have seen that when they, mm -hmm. they like watch each other earlier, so being very careful, playing it pretty well. Jeff's pretty notorious for playing silly cards, so <laughs> you definitely don't want to fall into it. <laughs> Someone said there's no sound. There is sound. Refresh your page. Maybe that'll. Oh, you can't even hear me. <laughs> yeah. Pat just building a board. Hopefully it doesn't get uh destroyed by torrential, uh, or something. torrential or, or uh, volcanic scatter shot. Yeah. Torrential Tribute is going to be really strong here.
Jim, how strong would you say that torrential trivia was? Very strong. Very strong. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was just here for the popcorn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I figure if I get bored, I tell Trevor to open up the comments. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm interested. So you can do this, the interview. Is, this is a deck Jeff built himself? Uh, yeah. He uh, he's really didn't like playing Necroz anymore or I really mean, any of the other decks. I don't like those decks either. Yeah, so he decided to... I, mean, I got my own goddamn uh, format. I still can't get yeah. rid of it. <laughs> You're good. There's a lot of drastic things you're going to have to do to completely kill it yeah, off. That's what I hear. Do you think there are going to be any changes before the 25K? I do not think so. I think uh, we spent an hour and a half in the room last night with our judges, right. our community, waiting for those damn Force of Will players to finish that top eight <laughs> tournament. Uh, I loved it. I mean, there was a lot of good feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, there could be something minor like it was coming in. What yeah, city are we in? Providence? We are in Providence. From Charlotte to <laughs> Providence. Um, I wouldn't look for anything drastic for uh, Philly. We are very aware that you can play core. So mm -hmm. we think that'll add, you know, something to the, the format. Uh, when uh, one of the judges, Austin, handed me uh, the list of decks, I'm pretty sure we had six different decks in the top six. Yeah, the, with the nice. incorporation of the ban list, the decks have definitely gotten more diverse, mm -hmm. uh, despite the fact that Necroz is still being dominant. Uh, there's less of them in the top, so mm -hmm. it's a nice change of pace. What's up? Uh, the commentators are myself, Max Reynolds, and uh, here with Tej Trevetti. And then we have Jim. Jim is here as well. Jim McMahon, the man. <laughs> All right. I had important business there. What time the concession stand was going to close? I'm <laughs> very busy. <laughs> uh, I'm not really sure, but you know, we were talking a little bit about the ban list. No, my, no, no major changes. Um, I remember, all we want is uh, more cards for more players to come to our events and, and play. Right, right. You know what? That's exactly what you want. So, so like all sorts of people coming. We're not going to kill strong decks. We're going to weaken them. The weaker decks, we want to make stronger. Mm -hmm. Going to give windups any more cards, Jim? <laughs> I, I don't play. I did ask that question. Uh, we featured a windup player yesterday. Uh, he came up, somebody's playing windups. I said. Come see me for 2 0. I'll get you on before you lose. Uh, I don't know if you won that feature match or not. I did not see him the rest of the day. That's a, that's Nick Ma's favorite deck, actually. I'm sure he'd be happy to see the, the any wind kind up of change. Deck, yeah. yeah, to strengthen it. And my goal is to have 16 different decks in the top 16. Of, uh, so that would be pretty crazy. That would be insane. Yeah. I saw a Regeki in uh, Jeff's hand as well. Just, and it looks like Scattershot and. Those scatter shots are just not what he wants to see in his hand. Mm -hmm. uh, unless he does draw a Blaze Accelerator Reload, then things will get a little silly. I can't make out what that last yeah, card is. I keep missing it. I think it might actually. Didn't he take Jarghetto first, or was that? No, he took the Phoenix Chain, Phoenix Chain from okay. the Duality. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, Heavenly Fire once again is a, vol a volcanic Star Seraph hybrid. Uh, that Jeff innovated because he was bored of uh, playing Necroz all the time. <laughs> so, 58 going through. Yep. Patrick doing a really nice job of uh, playing through all the back row and yeah. uh, maintaining card advantage. I didn't notice you get see that beautiful tent we bought into the, oh, yeah, yeah. the stream yeah. this weekend. <laughs> Some ARG logos on there or something. Yeah, I was looking for it. It looked like there was four. That's what you get when you buy stuff at Walmart. <laughs> so Jeff sent Scattershot, and uh, I believe it still triggers when it's sent, so Pat's not aware of that. Is Could, that uh, James Morton in the background? Uh, yeah, it's James Morton. and James was our scorekeeper last weekend in Charlotte. We only had to repair three times on Saturday. Only three. <laughs> Only three times on Saturday. As opposed to how many normally? <laughs> Probably about two. Probably about two. Right. James we didn't get any better, huh? <laughs> that human factor. Despite resolving the Jar of Avarice, uh, uh, Pat is kind of... I mean, he's used two Brios... Uh, 
he's, his, he's yeah, the one gone. The one yeah, he's, he's gone through a lot of things. Yeah. I believe he plays two uh, Jar, though. So. I see yeah. E-Hero Stratus is commenting. He's probably my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saw someone still wearing a free Stratos shirt uh, yesterday. I think you might have to <laughs> do something about that. Could make an ARG shirt with it on it or something. There's our Facebook monitor to post all your deck, Nick. James Morton, I gave you a nice shout out. Yep. <laughs> Tell everyone hi, Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> so Pat is mirror searching right now. It's a whole lot of stuff going on here. Yeah. He's got two cycles and a Clido banish and a mirror and grave. So he's probably down to one of each spell, maybe? <laughs> he would buy a Strato shirt. You, you know, we had a customer yesterday. Uh, we, we have these banners around, and they're like, why don't you make them with the posters? Well, that's a hell of an idea. Yeah, those, those would probably sell. We have never hired a poster, guys. It you might could be get time. a gym poster going. Ah, damn. <laughs> I got to read all that? <laughs> that's a There's long a question. The Zodiac group. I don't know whether or not Dylan or Sample in the ARG format. I believe if enough people want that format on Dueling Network, that eventually they'll listen to you. And, uh, I, I mean, if it's that popular, then I, I think eventually. I, yeah, why not? Like, sure. I mean, it's, it's early on. I give it some time. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Is that Dalton Boozman commenting now? <laughs> yeah, you should sell us G-string booty <laughs> short. I got booty <laughs> shorts on now. <laughs> Do you? No. I still think the booty shorts with play hard and go home on the back should be a thing. <laughs> oh, God. Can you just ban Wiggly now before we have more issues? Thanks. I was kidding. Ban Wiggly. <laughs> I'm all for a Jeff Max poster. I think that should be a thing. What? Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh poster? <laughs> yeah. It's a, oh. uh, John Moore said he wanted a Jeff Max poster. That's what House of Champions is. And Jeff has just not been able to get going this mm -hmm. game. Very uh, surprising, actually, because his deck usually takes off. Like a rocket. Pretty quickly, yeah, like a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> All he has to do is open Volcanic Rocket, and he's good to go. So Patrick takes game one pretty commandingly. Uh, there wasn't much, uh, much of a comeback for Jeff there, unfortunately. Uh, Patrick took game one. Are these sleeves Jeff Jason right here? Uh, those are from the OCG. Uh, our, uh, Eddie Lee got them for us. I have a pair of black ones there. They're pretty nice. Weren't you working on ARG sleeves, Jim? No, uh, I think you see, uh, I don't know, where the hell is my max protection ARG sleeves at? See that logo? You think I have some You think special? you'd have some, yeah. yeah. Probably about <laughs> six more months. Really? Season four. <laughs> Jim doesn't accept friend requests on Facebook. I, I recently will be accepting more friend requests. I moved all my family over to a much nicer, uh, un-Donald Trump Jim <laughs> fan page. Or is that a fan page? No, uh, Facebook, Facebook page. Facebook page, yeah. So now I can accept the whole Yu-Gi-Oh! community as friends. You can let everyone Very in. Nice. Mem I think we should do uh, some videos at a future circuit where we just have Pat Hoban read memes that was recommended to me. The memes? Yeah, so memes, <laughs> memes. So Pokemon, Pokemon. Yeah. I don't know the shit. There you go. I'll play it. <laughs> Zach was actually uh, asked to not commentate anymore this weekend. He. <laughs> He was not, uh... Zach was recommended to take a month off. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he should prepare for the yeah. Players' Championship on yeah. uh, Philadelphia, August yeah. 14th. We should get uh, Ben over here, though. That'd be cool. cool. Desmond, I don't think it's allowed on either, unfortunately. Desmond? Yeah. Desmond wanted to judge this weekend. He wanted to judge? Yeah. Really? He found out the convention center wasn't actually connected to his hotel, and there's no way in hell he'd ever be on time. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. We would have heard him coming from a mile away, though. I think Hoban's deck box is what he got for going to Worlds. Yeah, it's yeah. the uh, the deck box that they got 
I think the Dragon Duel Duelist and the yeah. Main Event Duelist all that got that deck same box. One. Yeah. You got last year's, right? No, we didn't no. get one. Why not? <laughs> there, there just wasn't one for our That's year. That's exactly how yeah. I started it. Yeah. Our, uh, our year we got two different playmats, though, which is kind of cool. That were, like, exclusive to Worlds. Why don't you and Billy uh, get in the car and drive on over to Philly? Billy? Yeah, Jonathan Morris wanted to... Oh, he's... Okay, I was like... I like... Well, uh... Definitely getting Colton on our way to Philly, Jim. We're getting what? Colton's gonna go for sure. Colton Young. So Colton Young. Play, yeah. uh, Shout out to Colton. His girlfriend must man. be out of the country. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's playing New Deal again. <laughs> Back to the game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just here for the popcorn. <laughs> so Jeff chose to go second, I guess. Gonna want to see more cards. Yeah. That's starting off pretty so strong. Yeah, his hand yeah. is very good. He can uh, can summon the Valk and... He has it. Oh, he... Oh, oh that's... Brio. I thought he had Valk in it. He's not gonna... Yeah, he does have Valk in I'm pretty sure. He's being careful, I think. I think he realizes that, you know, his field could leave at yeah. just about any moment, so... Don't want to put too much into it. Wiggly wants a handicap, Jim. This, wait, I'm not going to comment. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's actually dedicating more to the field than we thought. He is, you know. He's going to off the Manju and the He's going to get a free... Yeah, uh, this guy, is a, he hates how player. pro players shuffle. It makes me nervous watching Jeff play. <laughs> makes you nervous? Yeah. Is, is he nervous? Or? No, that's no, kind of how he shuffles. I, yeah. You should see him... Uh, uh, pile shuffle his deck. He just goes all over the place. Most players just kind of go uh, down the line, and he just puts cards wherever he wants to. Really, <laughs> he's always been someone to try different things for make things work. Uh -huh. All right. All right. So hopefully, Jeff has some monsters this here. time. Uh, I see. Uh, I think I see a scepter. Scepter and sovereignty would. Oh, he has a rocket too. Oh, so okay. Definitely nice. has plays this time. It's a good sign. Still can't quite. Pot of duality. It's that book of moon. Ooh, that dark hole. Nice. That might be the pick. Depending on what kind of traps he has, breakthrough right. could, could be pretty solid here too. Yeah, but definitely the Dark Hole is the best out of those two, uh, those three, though. Yeah. This is interesting. Oh, okay. Jeff might already have uh, Reload, because uh, there's a part of the screen where we can't completely see his hand, uh, for those watching, but uh, he might have Reload, and that's why he opted not to summon the rocket. He could also have. I know he's playing like Call of the Haunted. Yeah. He might just want to get this. Uh, too, yeah. yeah, the scepter out so he can Call of the Haunted it later. Absolutely. <laughs> what? Is that a rainbow, Trevor? It's just a <laughs> Chad Wilcott, is isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Are those dollar bills? That's Illuminati. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, Jeff has a few traps in his hand. I still can't really, really make out what they are. Jeff, uh, similar to Frazier, keeps his cards really close to the table, so it's harder to see on stream. We joke around at the store all the time to create a table or something to where... You make the players play on stream with their cards down instead of shop, you know. Oh yeah. And then oh, everyone man. at home could have a camera underneath and, and, That'd be and I would be able to do hands. it. <laughs> then, I like it's like part of the game. Like. Yeah. I have to shuffle my yeah. hand. Uh, we got a, a a good customer comes in and uh, the wife works at a TV station and mm -hmm. we're considering trying to come up with some type of idea where you just know everything that's going on. And, yeah. But we're not sure if the players are gonna want to put their cards down. Yeah. Oh, Jeff just uh, passed with no back yeah. row. Very interesting. That's pretty rough. He does have, I, I think he has Duraghetto in hand, uh, which okay. is going to make it harder for Pat to actually kill the Scepter, aside from just using a uh, XYZ monster to deal with it. Right, right. 
Have you ever considered uh, just asking Jim uh, how Konami has the who like the how Konami on, yeah on stream they they show the cards in hand? Have you ever uh, thought about trying to get? I've that? been asked if we had iPads. Is that what that means? Yes. yes. Absolutely not. We have not discussed. You don't that. want to do that. Uh, didn't Trevor come up with something cool this weekend where in between you can see what the card? I saw side this, Yeah, is? that was a good uh, implement. No, I, I I don't have any of the budget to have two people stand behind. Our, our guys aren't volunteers. <laughs> right, so. right. But if you can find me two volunteers, maybe we can consider that. <laughs> yeah. Austin, you want a volunteer to do that next time? <laughs> just say no. You could also, like, potentially just take on more judges, and, like, those ju the judges doing that could be watching the match, too. That could be a go. potential way to work. Well, Pat is just... That is really going in. This could just be it right here, unfortunately. All right. I really want to know what Jeff's trap is. First of all, I think 80 players in this 1K today. Nice. There was a lot, yeah. Seven rounds is a pretty solid number for the 1K. Usually it's around six, I want to say. I tell you what, if anyone's noticed over the last month or two at the circuits, I mean, new format, force of will, card fight, I mean... It's definitely, I mean, we're, we're striving to make that 35, 30, 25, wherever you pay, whatever game we're playing, worth the entertainment value. Yeah. Come down, hang out, sell some cards. It's always a good time at a circuit series. A lot definitely. of stuff to do. Hi, Izuka. Where the hell has he been? He doesn't judge anymore. The area was really nice, too. See, there's the Jerry Ghetto. I told Moore if he wants to come yeah. to Philly, bring Billy with him. So, uh, once again, for those that aren't familiar with how Jerigetto works, uh, you can special it during either player's battle step. Uh, it's going to give Jeff a thousand extra life points, and he can tribute it to increase the attack of one of his monsters by a thousand. I think ARG would get more participants if Hoban got reprimanded for his cheating tactics. <laughs> Isn't that up to you, Jim? Huh? Isn't that up to you for reprimanding that? Rep Man, have you ever tried to reprimand Pat Hoban? Yeah. Pretty I can't say that I have. Yeah. <laughs> I love salty people. <laughs> I'm sure no one knows who that guy is. Or ever will know who that guy is. <laughs> yeah. Hoban just has... Such a <laughs> such a huge amount of advantage here. Like probably gonna see an emerald play, mm -hmm. uh, put his resources back, and then can valk it away to draw. I think I saw a decree in his hand too. Yeah, so it's just not looking good for Jeff. Really limiting Jeff's cards at this point. Jeff might have another scepter in his hand. Maybe that would yeah. be a. I don't. I don't really have to be professional. This is Yu-Gi-Oh, right? <laughs> yeah. It's disappointing. If I read comments like Hoban's a cheater, I tell you, if Hoban's a cheater, does he play in Konami events? Yeah, he does. Oh, he does, right? I don't think there's ever been a target on anyone. <laughs> I literally used to get up, go to work. So I like to do what I do, and I go to work just to piss the haters off, make them hate more. <laughs> If you call Hoban a cheater, that means you're salty. I'd agree with that. I'm pretty sure he plays in the I'd say so. How's that free coverage for you? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff could use like a, I don't like even if he were to draw a Raigeki, like Hoban is just has so many, like he's gonna have so many cards by the end of this. And he's got uh He's got Danko Decree, Manju, yeah. Rota as his hand right now. Plus two more cards. Klaus and uh can't see the virtual high five. I really want to know it really looks like Jeff has a trap, but I'm very curious to know what that is. Definitely has a rocket. It's a sovereignty. Mystery trap card. No, not all coverage is free. There's a lot of technology out there where we could switch from Twitch to other other things and charge a, a premium content value. 
I know like yeah. Star City and Magic the Gathering charges to read certain people's articles. Oh yeah. Gave you some type of uh, discount or something like a premium, something we never did do. I he I've heard uh, from friends that are working with op like getting an article site on their own website that it's it's expensive to to like add that portion to your website. Is that true? Yeah, it, it, it's expensive. Not only that, we have a new website that was due out two months ago, mm -hmm. and uh, once that website was up and running, then we were going to work on a circuit series website along with a new article website. Ooh. But uh, you know we're two months behind. This guy's yeah. on the regular yeah. website, and now you've got uh, Force Will to keep track of. You got Yu-Gi-Oh. Lots of stuff going on. There you go. What's that say on my new Apple Watch? Tell that's, everyone that's from Brandon Wigley. From Wigley, tell everyone on stream you love me. What you, what's your response to that? I had you read it. <laughs> <laughs> so Jeff's gonna be able to get, get back in the game here with this. Don't yeah, I mean I don't play, play Yu-Gi-Oh. I come from a sports side of it. My uh, favorite sport is college football. My favorite team is Ohio State Buckeyes, and everyone thinks they're cheaters. You know why? They do well. They, they win. win. Yeah. I think we get to draw a couple cards. A couple you can always, cards. Mike. You can always switch jobs. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, yeah. Jeff. Jeff does need a haircut. I've told him that uh, quite a lot. He is getting one soon, so don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm too old to smoke weed. He flushes himself too. Oh, nice. Uh, it does not miss time. So Jeff went from no monsters last game to uh, five monsters on the field right now, drawing some more cards. Yeah. It's a shame uh, we won't get to see him make the tall Georgia. Maya Georgia. Okay, material. now we're on Alex Wiggly because Wiggly <laughs> knows Georgia's not a college football player. <laughs> state, state, state. <laughs> Bulldogs. Oh, Jeff uh, apparently drew Scepter off the top of his deck, so that's going to be yeah. pretty crazy. I think Tom Brady has a lot more in common with that gentleman agreement than anything else. <laughs> Jeff has uh, definitely climbed back into this game. This Just might be the first and last time I John Madden this. Yeah? Yeah. No, you can leave Wiggly around. <laughs> Those are all the penalties? Yeah, I'll save it. So, going here, popped one of the scepters. What would you have? Hoban not wanting to lose both of his cards to this. Uh, I'd like to think Jeff would expect a decree or something, so he'd want to uh, get rid of the back row mm -hmm. and then just deal with the going near with the Deldros effect, which I'm assuming he'd make. Right, right. Uh, he's also. Uh, probably going to, if he does have, uh, what's it called, Accelerator Reload, he'll probably just activate it right away uh, to play around Danko Seca. He's been doing that uh, frequently with the deck too, so. So all this ban talks just in chat? The ban? The uh, KRS on ban, ban. I'll ban you, you ban. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeff has a volcanic rocket in his hand. <laughs> he just hasn't summoned it yet. I do not want a Georgia hoodie. Bring me Atlanta Braves baseball there it cap. Is. There it is. Well, the only reason anyone's reading chat is you have Jim. Yeah, we, we got Jim on. I can read, <laughs> but I cannot play. Yu-Gi-Oh. Normally we're asked to not uh, communicate with the chat because it makes it uh, interesting or it makes it like uh, awkward for people that are like rewatching it and they don't understand what's going on. It's just gonna be awkward enough. I'm it, even yeah. down here talking. <laughs> when Jim's around, uh, all bets are off. You can do what you <laughs> guys do. You wants. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, Pat has not had the best of luck against Yang Zings. Uh, Recent you events. know, I picked that feature match completely by accident yesterday. Oh. Did you really? Yeah, everyone kept saying, Jim, you, know, you don't ever pick Pat Hoban anymore. Mm. I don't think he's done very well lately, to be honest. He plays those boring <laughs> decks. <laughs> Shots fired. And they're like, Jim, you got to get this Yang 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 Zing guy on. <laughs> I'm like, all right, next round. So I pick Hoban. Guess who he's playing? Yang Zing guy. 
Actually, maybe I knew he was. I was so hyped up when I saw he was playing Yang Zing. I was commentating that match. I tell you what, I think the cheer for Pac any beat yesterday was literally the loudest cheer ever at a circuit <laughs> yeah, series. Yeah, uh, Tej said his, his ears oh, were hurting yeah, after that. Was, that. I, was thought, I, I thought it was a force of will tournament going into round three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their rounds are uh, very, very long there. What are they, like 50 round, 50 minutes? We definitely got to figure out how to get that Ying Yang thingy stronger, that deck. Uh, you could uh, bring back Synchro Trishula yeah. to the ARG Let format. Have back Trish. Make sure you let Brad know. I know that's something uh, Jeff is a huge advocate for. He just likes to Synchro Summon. <laughs> and uh, make Shadal's a little yeah. bit stronger. And make uh, Yang Zing stronger. Yep. We need to see. I Did Shadal's top this event? I don't think one they... Deck one deck One the, the second Construct got him there. <laughs> that was a big move. Yeah. Two Constructs. I like how everyone was kind of okay with it on the internet. I actually got to eat my whole lunch. <laughs> See Nick over here? Falls asleep at work all the time. <laughs> was he not falling asleep? It was like, uh, he's, he's probably just tired and yeah. his eyes were a little He was just low. thinking. I really hope this match uh, doesn't go to time. It looks like it's going to. It's been Jeff's uh, downfall. <laughs> the past uh, several events, actually, uh, he just keeps falling in time. He really can't deal with it. His deck is actually supposed to be strong in time too, which is why it's bad. But Hoban has a pretty good lead. Oh yeah, right now he's up by 52. Yeah, he's 52. I'm sitting here trying to commentate, and Krovik's all worried about his New Gio format next <laughs> weekend at Philadelphia. Oh, wait, wait, next weeks? week. I'm sorry, two yeah. weeks. Scared let me, me. Let me get through <laughs> six days of Gen Con. Oh, Go home wow. for a couple days, and then we'll be in Philly. Gonna pick up a bunch of versus system stuff, I hope. Uh, <laughs> I'm not working the booth this year. I'm just gonna go around and talk to people. Got a lot of people buying me dinner every night. You know. Very nice. <laughs> Favorite steakhouse is in Indy. Yeah. The breakthrough skill is actually gonna be really huge for Jeff, because now Pat will be more reluctant to play the Danko. Because yeah. he just has the solution to it. So his hand, I think the rest of his hand is pretty much just a cycle and a shirt. Because yeah. the other two cards he can't play this turn. It's a Danko and a Manju. He's probably going to go for... Uh, wow. Oh, he's going to try to finish the game right here. Oh, this is mm -hmm. not good. Uh-oh. So Jeff needs this, yeah, two Jeff. responses to attacks or yeah. two fiendish chains. I see all much. those comments about slow play starting, so I'll send one of the judges taking a break over. Yeah, uh, I don't I don't know if Jeff should have just held the breakthrough there for the Jew, knowing that he kind of loses to Clausulus, but it's not like you can play it preemptively because you can just play it in the damage step too, so right, it's, right. it's rough. Unicorn grab back on here. He's really yeah. just pushing for this play right here. I don't here. think uh, Jeff can stop. He does have Phoenix Chain. Phoenix yeah. Chain, and then. This is good news. Chaining Klaus. Yeah, but okay. Can he stop too? Uh, oh, no. I, yeah, I don't that's, think he has the other one, does he? Yeah. That's it. Hoban uh, 2 0's Jeff. Fortunately, uh. Couldn't uh, finish it out. Mm -hmm.